we will now we will now start talking about uh, the basic amplifiers for analog electronics power amplifiers for analog electronics you probably studied uh, the basic circuits for uh, in the that, I'm, that I'm going to present because they are important for analog circuit circuits we will study them uh, with uh, a particular attention to the power efficiency because we want to understand what actually we know about power circuits and what we can get using those circuits we have these uh, amplifiers in uh, analog electronics some of them also need to carry a large amount of current so they are power amplifiers but in general the most important aspect that we study for these amplifiers is uh, how much they do amplify the signal the amplification also it is very important that these amplifiers are linear because the typical application is the loudspeaker you want to amplify the voice the music and bring it to a loudspeaker if you don't have linearity the the music the voice is not nicely here and the linearity is very important then you care about the frequency range of the out signal you want a circuit an amplifier that has a proper band in order to amplify in the same way every frequency that you have into your into your signal and then you study the input and output resistance because matching the input resistance and the output resistance will maximize the amount of power that you can transfer to the load and you can take from the input but instead of talking about power we usually talk about signal we say that if the input resistance or the output resistance are not matched you lose a large amount of your signal because power is not really an issue for these circuits the main goal is not the power gain between input and output you don't want to increase the power of the signal actually it will it will come however if you increase the amplitude in voltage it will have also larger power but this is not the most important thing Typical example, you have a radio system that wants to amplify the signal from the antenna. This signal is very, very small, microvolts on the antenna, and you need some volts on the output in order on the loudspeaker in order to, to drive the loudspeaker. And this is the typical processing change that you studied in uh, analog electronics. When you come to power amplifiers, also studied in analog, in analog electronics, you start caring about the power that you want to transfer to the load. In this case, uh, you start thinking about the efficiency. That will be the ratio between the power that you can transfer to the load divided by the power that you take from the power source the energy that you are using often this uh, efficiency is given as a percentage percentage and uh, it will be or or it is from 0 to 1 or will be from 0 to 100 percent and will be smaller than 100 percent It is also important now how much power you dissipate on the active devices. In this case, you start thinking and uh, understanding that it is import important to have a power gain between input and output. In this case, the processing chain is slightly different. You will have an input signal, some drivers, then you have a power signal. And this power circuit takes energy from the power supply 
and will transfer some energy to the load. The efficiency is the ratio between uh, PL and PS, and you want this ratio as much as possible close to 1. These power circuits, uh, you studied them uh, in the, an, as an example in the output stage for uh, an operation amplifier. The common collector uh, amplifier is the typical class A amplifier. There are many circuits that can uh, provide this uh, feature, this amplification of power from the input signal that is usually a sinusoid or a composition of sinusoids and uh, amplify their power to transfer this to the load. These circuits are classified with letters and uh, the first that you study is the class A amplifier. In a class A amplifier, you have the active devices. Uh, in general, there is one only active device that is always conducting current during the entire period of, of the input signal. If you have an input signal that is a sinusoid, the current that flows through the active device is always larger than zero. This means that the active device is always dissipating some power. In class, class B operation, you have usually two devices, and one will conduct for half of the period, period of the input sinusoid, and the other one is conducting for the second half. This we will see improves the efficiency. Then there are class C, class E, there are many classes of uh, circuits, but we will focus in the following on those that are class D operation amplifiers, in which the device is not working in a linear operation, but is switching uh, between the full conduction, the on state when the maximum current is flowing through the device and the off state when the zero current is flowing. A, B and D amplifiers will be discussed.